You should have some notes out. I'm not gonna prolong this. We're doing multiplying binomials, two term radicals, and two term complex numbers, which is basically foiling, but I refuse to call it foiling. We're just gonna call it double distribution, okay? Uh, so take some notes out. Math with Miss B. Math with Miss B. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with Miss B. Multiplying binomials. You want to multiply by distributing. So you want to do x times x and then x times 2. I'm just going to give you x squared and 2x. And then you want to do 9 times x and 9 times 2, which is going to give you 9x plus 18. In the middle, you want to simplify by combining the like terms. And 2 plus 9 equals 11. Bada bing, bada boom, baby. That is your answer. Again, this is a refresher, a review. You should, if you're watching this video, I feel like you should probably know this already. <sighs> the error that so many of us make. You see in the corner how it says 3x minus 2 squared does not equal 9x squared minus 4? This is such a big mistake. Dang! Please, 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 please. Do not make this mistake. In fact, 3x minus 2 squared equals 3x minus 2 times 3x minus 2, where you have to guess what? Double distribute. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. And negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. In the middle, guess what you're going to do? You're going to combine your like terms. Uh, 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 uh. You should be able to do these two on your own. So pause the video, see if you get the answer right. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> I'm not even going to go through these. I'm just going to show you the answer because I'm hoping that you paused the video. Did you get them right? Yay, you! Good job. Okay, let's move on to radicals. So let's say I have radical five minus radical three, radical five plus radical three, okay? It's the same process, I'm still distributing. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna distribute radical five to radical five, which is gonna be radical 25. I'm gonna distribute, distribute, distribute radical five to radical three, and that's gonna give me radical 15, positive. Now we're gonna do radical negative radical three times radical five. That's gonna give me negative radical 15. And then negative radical three times positive radical three. That's gonna give me negative radical nine. Okay, so we're gonna pay attention to the radical 15s in the middle. Okay, we're also gonna pay attention to the fact that we have some square roots that we can simplify. So the square root of 25 is in fact what? Five. My negative square root of 15 and my positive square root of 15, what happens to them? Cutting them out of here. Okay, and then radical 9 is actually 3, so minus 3. And 5 minus 3 is 2. So good, right? I know, I know, I know. Um, let's see here. Same, same, same rules apply, same rules apply, same rules apply, okay? 5 times 3, 15, 5 times square root of 3 is 5 square root of 3. Square root of 3 times 3 is 3 square root of 3. Excuse me. And then square root of 3 times square root of 3 is square root of 9. We're going to pay attention to the middle because those are like terms. They are both radical 3s. And because they are like terms, I'm going to go ahead and combine them. So I'm going to do 15. I'm going to simplify your square roots 15 plus 8 radical 3 plus 3 where did that 3 come from radical 9 the square root of 9 is 3 so I can now continue to combine like terms 18 plus 3 I mean 5 plus, I gave you the answer oh my gosh 15 plus 3 is 18 uh, plus 8 square root of 3 should be my final answer for that one Ooh, ooh. 
Is this the last one? This is the last radical one, but we still have imaginary numbers in a second, in a second. Okay, four times three, 12. Four times negative two square root of three. That's gonna be negative eight square root of three. Uh, square root of five times three is three square root of five, positive, so put a plus there. And then square root of five times negative two square root of three is gonna give me negative two square root of 15. Now I'm looking at all my radicals. I have radical three, radical five, and radical 15. Now one of them, now one of them is a like term, not a single one. So guess what, guys? It's our final answer. Crazy. I know, I know, I know. So we leave it like that. Nothing to simplify. That's my final answer. Okay, so let's talk about when we're doing complex numbers. This is the third type of problem and the last type of problem. I don't know how many of these we have. Um, probably only two, but we'll see. Let me see in the little navigator thing. Yeah, this one and the next one. Okay, so we're gonna do two times two, obviously. That's gonna give me my wonderful four. And then we're gonna do two times negative nine i, and that's gonna give me negative 18 i. We're gonna do nine times, nine i times two. That's gonna give me positive 18 i. And then we're gonna do nine i times negative nine i. That's gonna give me negative 81 i squared. Pay attention, all right? So obviously in the middle, I have a negative 18i and a positive 18i. What's gonna happen? <laughs> Get it out of there, okay? And then what do we need to remember? I need to remember that i squared equals negative one. Okay, what does that mean for me? Well, that means that I have my four minus 81, parentheses, but i squared equals what? Negative one. So instead of i squared, I have replaced i squared with a negative one. But now I have a negative 81 next to a negative one. Well, negative 81 times negative one is gonna give me positive 81. And now I have a four plus a 81, so now I got a 85. Boom! Yeah, you see me? You see me? All right, one more example. Okay. You should try to see if you can do this one on your own, but if you, whatever, pause the video, something. Okay, three times four, 12. Three times negative i, negative three i. Six i times four, positive 24 i. Six i times negative i is negative six i squared. Pay attention to that i squared, don't let it fool you, okay? So in the middle, we're gonna bring together negative three i plus 20. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> remember that i squared equals negative 1. So I'm going to bring down my 12. I'm going to combine what's going on in the middle over there. So negative 3i plus 24i is going to give me positive 21i. And then on the back end, okay, i squared turned into what? Negative 1, baby. So negative six times negative one equals positive six. My like terms are 12 and six, so I'm gonna absorb them together. They're gonna become 18. And then the 21 I goes on the backhand part because you always want the real part first and then the imaginary, in the imaginary part second, okay? And that's your final answer. I hope that little review was helpful, okay? Cause this is what I'm about to tell you to do. Like always, I'm gonna tell you go back through, see if you can do the examples without my help. Mm -hmm. And if not, I'll see you in the next one.